In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Fab Filter Software Instruments Pro C2 for ducking. I like to use Track Plug 5 from Wave Arts as a noise gate and also as a brick wall equalizer. You can see how the noise gate turns everything off when I'm not speaking. I experimented with several different ways to get this working and what I found out is because Studio One has uh, automagical MIDI and because uh, Fab Filter plugins also have automagic MIDI that it's better to turn all that stuff off and the way you turn it off is in Studio One you go into preferences and you remove all your external MIDI devices there may be some other way to do it, but this is the way that worked for me. And then on Pro C2, you turn off MIDI Learn, so there's no MIDI going on. There's a side chain button, and you want to click that. That enables side chain, which is what you need for ducking. Now, over on the voiceover, in Sins, I've got it selected to side chain and then I've got it selected to stereo side chain um, the name of the song inserts and fab filter pro c2 so that's going to send the audio from the vocal mic over to pro c as the side chain you want to click on external when you click on the audition button, you can hear the side chain audio. When you unclick on it, everything's back to normal. Down here, you can select several types of ducking mid ducking, side ducking, mid plus side, and side mid. I'm using mid. Now watch up here when you start talking. You see how it cuts the volume? I'm gonna make it a little more extreme by increasing this slider here. Now you can see that it cuts it a lot. This is what ducking does. It takes the audio signal of one instrument, or voice, and uses it to automatically lower the volume level of another thing. It can be a group also. And that's a quick overview of the way Pro C works in Studio 4 when you're doing ducking. Thanks.